Let's be honest, Football Manager has 9 million buttons. Today, I'm going to show you a handful or so that you've probably never touched and will have a massive impact on how you play the game. And the first button we're looking at is in a player tab. So if you want to go into the squad view and look at who's not playing at the moment, but has generally been in the club a few years and was a key player, should we say. So Tim is our option. If we come into overview and happiness, we can see that agreed playing time is important player and he's expected to be a regular starter. In reality, Tim has played one game off the bench so he is not that so a beautiful way to manage the happiness of your player is to come into here and change it so he is realistically a fringe player at best so if we change that he now expects to be a fringe player over the next five games which lowers the expectations of him and will make him naturally happier a great way to manage morale and number two on the list is a nice way to do some succession planning for your squad. If you've got a player who's leaving or isn't really up to standard, for us at the moment, that is Andre Santos. Great player, just not performing. So we're going to find a replacement for him. Come to comparison, go to find similar players, and what it will do is add three search criteria. First one is the attributes, second one a position, and the next one is the role. I suggest with a role, you lose it. What you're looking for are the attributes in question click on ok and obviously tick these bits and it will bring up all the players that are similar to him that you can bring into your team one down the bottom here looks incredible and he would be number three on the list is all to do with player development once again we're starting in the squad view and you want to come up to customize current view there's two available criteria here you can highlight to really help you in your way and that is within the scouting tab and down here strongest and weakest area of game if we move that over and we add that up to the top just to show you what it looks like hit ok and it will bring up for all of our players here what their pros are and what their cons are so for example marjanovic isn't very good at heading so in theory you can come into here go to development come into additional focus and then work on aerial ability now obviously i've got my staff doing this but this is an example for what you can do and that will work on heading and bravery and then over time this negative or the con of heading should disappear. Number four is a really nice way to develop your players. You want to start off in the training tab and at the top, you've got all these wonderful things that nobody ever clicks on. If you hit coaches and go into edit coaching assignments, it will bring up all of your staff and where they've been assigned in their roles. And down the bottom, you've got the overall star ratings for each position. Sometimes this isn't maximized to its full potential. If you click on ask assistant to assign, it will change it. So now some of these have gone to average, but the best staff have gone to the most relevant area that they're suitable. And from here, it's a really good way to highlight any deficiency. So for example, I know that the handling goalkeeping needs to be improved. And the fifth and final hidden button is within the tactics tab, but you want to come up to opposition instructions. And usually this is where you'd work out your opposition and how you're going to attack them. But another great thing to do from this screen is down the bottom right hand corner, team report so we play Wolfsburg in two weeks time if you hit team report it will allow you to go and do a scout report on the team to highlight their strengths and weaknesses now caveat you can do that within each team by going to team report get a team report but it's a bit long-winded that is for me the smoothest way to do it and in a few days we will get a team report on Wolfsburg and here we go, a few days later, you get your report coming through. Now, it's a good way to show the formation, the team report, analyst report, and the person you've assigned as a match analysis. So team report will come up with where the greatest strengths are, so to speak, such as the passing percentage tackling. You can highlight where they're below the average of the Bundesliga for some weaknesses. But an easy way to do that is to literally click on strengths and weaknesses, and it will bring up some areas where you can target. So for example, we can see that Patrick Wimmer has struggled with a 6.4 rate in his last five games, which is terrible, and he is in an integral road out on that right-hand side. So we can press him, we can take advantage, we're putting pressure on him to ensure he makes mistakes. In addition, within the scouting report, we can click on analyst report, and it brings in some more details of Wolfsburg before we go into it. And we can see here the 10 of their total of 26 assists in the last 90 matches have come from the right hand side of the pitch so really the player we're targeting the complete wing back on right we should nullify this risk as well as taking advantage of his weaknesses 
So there you have it, a whistle-stop tour of five buttons within Football Manager that you may not click on, but they certainly do help. Pop a comment down below, let me know are there any other ones that you will put in the list. And in the meantime, watch this video next.